Now at 5.30, a church in Brookline is planning a bold response to the person who destroyed its transgender pride flag. Police are focused on finding who's responsible, but the church is focused on making sure the vandal doesn't win. And the pastor tells WBZ's Courtney Cole this act of vandalism won't deter the church's mission. Our lawn is a welcoming space. Welcoming of all. We have rainbow welcoming Adirondack chairs. We Two weeks ago, in that very same space outside of United Parish Brookline, someone burned their transgender pride flag. Uh, have you ever seen anything like this? No, not in my time here. I haven't. French described the act to me as cowardly. What we are committed to is getting a new, bigger, more visible flag that will be less reachable, like our Black Lives Matter banner. So that's, um, we're undeterred by it. The pastor expects to have that flag up in the next week or two. The pastor tells me they believe it happened between 10 p.m. on August 25th and 9 a.m. on August 26th when it was discovered by their parish administrator. And what has the response been like from the community? We're disappointed and dismayed, but um, I think we're clear that that's our, what our message is, is wide open welcome. And we are truly a diverse community. As the fourth openly queer pastor to serve this church, he tells me that it's their call to overcome this kind of behavior with love, real fellowship, and conversation. We believe we're following the gospel when we follow that ministry, and so we're going to keep on doing that. Pastor French tells me the Brookline Police Department was very responsive, but so far no update yet on this incident. Anyone watching tonight with any information is urged to call police right away. In Brookline, I'm Courtney Cole for WBZ News.